Hi, Libra. This is your reading for October 9th to the 15th. Uh, let's see. I hope that you've been doing okay, at least for the first part of October, okay? So, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for October 9th to the 15th. Let's see what's going on. 2017. Let's see what's going on here. Libra. All right, Libra. So I am doing a Master Mason spread, by the way. You are questioning. What exactly are you questioning? You have questions about a fire sign female. It could be an Aries, a Leo, or Sag female. It could be an Aries female that you have questions about. Um, I'm getting involvement in something. So you may be questioning if this person is involved in something. Um, it does not have to be a female. Now I'm being drawn to, you could be questioning a male, but maybe you're questioning, maybe this male energy here is, is either like they're bi or maybe they're undercover into men if they're a male and you're trying to use your intuition about that. It could be somebody you work with. Someone may not be openly gay in the workplace environment or in the home. This could be a brother. This could be a sister. Somebody's not expressing who they really are to you it could be literally be an aries female this air this queen of wands is an aries female that's not e exposing who they are what they are what they're into um somebody is very secretive but they're but they're secretive for a reason they don't want you to know everything so if you're trying to ask them that i said involvement they're involved with something and they're not opening up i'm getting breaking in now they may have broken into something. I don't know if they broke into a house, a car, or they got there. I don't know. I'm getting involvement surrounding this individual. So they may in, they may be involved in breaking into somebody's car, house. I don't know. It's crazy. This is crazy. Somebody stole something from you. This Aries energy, Aries female energy stole something from you. It's weird. I don't know who the hell. It could. It doesn't have to be breaking in in the literal sense. Breaking in. Someone may be breaking in, like, I don't know, emotionally breaking into you, or you're trying to break down somebody. You may be breaking down this person, or this person is breaking down to you. I just feel like somebody broke in and stole something. It could be this individual. They're involved in, in stealing something. They stole something from you. And I don't know if you want to, you know, I'm getting like a misdemeanor energy surrounding this energy. What's helping you solve the issue? You have um, the hangman. This is the hangman energy here that may be trying to help you. Hangman isn't anybody, to be honest. If you're dealing with a man that's hung up on other people, they don't have time. It could be an attorney, a lawyer, could be a police officer. If you want to look at that, if you want to interpret that that way, the hangman may be a person who's literally they're not paying attention to the details that they're that you're trying to give them about this Aries female and her involvement in a heist, in a stealing, in a something. Um, it could be involving family. It could be involving family money, wills, inheritances um, that you're trying to be like, hey. Hey, what is going on? Somebody may have been sloppy. <laughs> You're using this hangman energy to know that maybe this Aries female was a bit sloppy with something. You know, I mean, maybe they're supposed to be intuitive and maybe they're not intuitive enough for you. <laughs> if you want to look at it that way, intuitive in the sense that maybe they're not, they're thinking that they're doing something right and they're not doing something right at all. And that's why the hangman is there. Somebody may be trying to break in. You may know that someone has broken into something or someone has stolen something from someone else. They're sloppy in the sense that maybe they weren't using their own intuition, that maybe they were fucking up with whatever they were, whatever it was that they were doing, if you want to look at it like that. The negative energy working against the situation is the five of cups. Those, so there may have been a loss involving this break-in of a situation. Um I'm getting like somebody may have been moseying about and that may have been what's causing the grief. You kind of feel like you need to protect yourself from this individual here is what it feels like. That's why the five of cups is there. The advice that is being given to you is the four of wands. Somebody has your trust issues with this fire sign. Female um, has, called to, has come to an all-time low. You can't really trust them anymore with your keys, with your wallets for watching something for you. So somebody stole something from you. <laughs> somebody stole something from you. And that's why the five of cups is here. It, it's kind of like you may have put too much, uh, you may have put too much responsibility or too much trust. This could have been a mother. <laughs> this could have been your mother. This could have been your sister, a family member that you put a lot of trust into this female energy here. And they took advantage of that trust in general. This could be someone in the workplace environment. This is as simple as watch my food. Somebody ate it. 
<laughs> this person ate it. Watch my car. Somebody stole the car. I'm just saying. Or somebody broke into the car and took something. You know, you put too much trust in this uh, Aries female energy here. Um, most recent issue is the nine of wands. So you, this person, like this, you got a lot of wands energy here. Either you're dealing with this Aries energy or you have other fire sign energies around you. Could be a Leo or a Sag defending themselves. Someone could have cheated on you with an Aries energy. Like I said, stolen or breaking into. Someone could have been coming into your house and you didn't know that. And it could be this person right here. Someone has been coming into your house, possibly, I don't know. I'm getting smelling of something. Smelling of alcohol. Someone could have came in the house smelling like alcohol. And that may have been what is disturbing your home. You could have a, a, a sibling or a family member, a cousin who has been tipsying around and somebody may have been maybe coming in the house drunk all the time and you're they're, you're tired of them trying to back up their reasons for either being late. This could be someone late to work. This could be an addiction. Someone, maybe you, someone may have said to you, hey, I'm not going to drink around the kids anymore. You know, this could be a female. I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to do these things anymore. I want my children back. You know, this person may be saying, I want my kids back, but you don't feel like they're, they're fit. They're not fit to be a parent or they are a parent. Like if they're a new parent, they're not fit. Totally. If they are, a, they're already, they've been a parent for a long period of time already, you may feel like they need to get their children taken away from them. Like they need their children taken away from them because maybe you feel like they're not a good parent and you may be on the outside looking into them defending their placement in something. They stole something. That's why they got their kids taken away. Or they, they stole something. They broke into something. They have a habit that they can't break. This fire sign energy here, like they're, they're toxic. You know, they have a habit that they can't shake. They're not a good parent. You know, it could be your mother has children that are younger. You could be a sibling and this could this female could be your mother and she's got younger kids. It could be a foster care situation. Maybe you feel like someone should not be a foster parent. They're not they're, they, they don't keep the house clean, whatever it is that you're dealing with here. The answers. I would love to see what the answers are. The answers has the death card. Death card sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio may be involved in the situation. Scorpio, um, Scorpio is trying to protect this Aries energy for some reason, or you're dealing with a situation that cannot be avoided. Either somebody you're on the outside looking into someone getting kicked out totally because of these behaviors, because they're not a good parent, etc. The energy in the environment has the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn female energy here um, is 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 revealing a lot. This person has been revealing a lot either about family secrets, um, family money, family secrets in the sense that, you know, you have a, there is a situation where a Scorpio may be, may have been protecting this Aries female energy and it could have to do with family money. It could have to do with family will inheritances. They stole something. They stole something. They're being protected by a Scorpio, you know, or they're protected in general. Look at the mummy in this picture. You know, they're protected. You know, someone around you is protected. It could be a Scorpio is protected. Scorpio may be involved in stealing something. Scorpio man or Scorpio female energy. This person, whatever the stealing and heist-like energy is, is involving this Queen of Pentacles. Either it's something, it's either it's stealing something that belongs to this Queen of Pentacles, or ideas, or money, money left to this person by a father or a mother that could that could literally but be what's going on here or you were left money or you're on the outside looking into this happening in a family it's disturbing whatever the situation is is a bit disturbing in nature it's disturbing and it's disrupting a home this person is going to get judged for what they're doing in general though but there's a powerful scorpio energy that may literally be protecting them or this situation calls for major transformation in general so it's either like you need to say something like you're on the outside looking into this happening in someone else's house you got a fire sign that's defending their placement it doesn't have to be this aries female you may be dealing with another fire sign it could be a leo or an aries male energy that is defending their placement in something that they've done could it like i said involvement you may be a part of some type of three-way involvement trying to get rid of one person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Trying to get rid of one Queen of Pentacles energy or Queen of Pentacles is literally the person. They're right in the center. They are the environment. If I said they are the environment, they're the bearer of truth or they're the bearer of, I don't know, 
there's like all these people, it feels like that are, you may be on the outside hearing about this, you know, like intuitively, you know that, that there's people that they're after this one person. This person here stole something from this Queen of Pentacles energy here. Ideas, place, a placement. You know, it could be somebody's job placement that someone is coming in and they're taking, they're trying to take somebody's position away from them. You know what I mean? And you may, you may be seeing this happening. You may feel like someone is completely oblivious to what's going on, but they already see it. So it could be somebody getting schemed out of a job. You're on the outside looking into somebody getting schemed out of a job here. The death card, if, if you look at this like writer, like uh, like a uh, um, Celtic cross, it kind of looks like this, like this death card is literally transformation is crowning this whole situation. I feel protect the Capricorn, protect this Capricorn female energy here. You know stuff, say something. If you see something, say something in general. Somebody's trying to steal their place, either like in a job, trying to steal money from them. Why is this happening and no one's saying anything? Why? Okay, so you can you can apply this to anything. Either somebody's literally stealing something from you. You could be this queen of pentacles. You may be the stable female, but you have somebody on the side, a jealous something, a jealous, um, what do you call it? It could be a coworker that's jealous and that they want somebody's place. They want to take over somebody's place here. Seriously. Wow. Okay, let's see what's going on. It could be somebody's house. It could be something that is in someone's house that somebody else wants. This female wants it really, really bad. Money, car, keys, you know, they're just stealing. They're stealing. It's somebody's nature. It's somebody's nature around you to just steal whatever it is. They don't care. You know, they don't care that they're stealing something from you. This could be you right here in the center. They're trying to get you out. They're stealing something. Either you're on the outside looking into this happening to someone else, Capricorn female right here in the center in the environment, or some of this Aries energy is stealing something from you or this person here, or you are that person that's getting something stolen from. <laughs> All right, watch your back. Watch your back, either in a home, in a, I'm getting a school environment. Someone wants somebody's place. It could be in a relationship. It could be you're a dude and there's an, there's an Aries female that wants you and you're already with somebody. You know what I mean? Wants to work with you or you want to work with whoever. You want to work with someone, but you got somebody that's trying to take that person away from you. I don't know. Let's look to see what the outcome is, Libra. So the outcome has the Ace of Swords. So you have a new idea, possibly, um, how to get help for someone or how to get someone out of the picture or something. Um, you're trying to help this you're trying to help this energy here. Either this is you or you're helping out a Capricorn female, Capricorn, Taurus, uh, Virgo female right here in the center. Or this is you that's making money. You're trying to help yourself out. You're trying to protect yourself from this person. I don't know. Could be anybody. This could be your uh, a friend that's greedy. This could be a coworker that wants your place. This could be a, 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 a what do you call it? I don't know. It could be a boss that you're on the outside looking into the boss trying to take something away from this person. It could be trying to cut somebody's pay around you in the workplace environment, but you see it happening. Say something, you know, say something to them. Somebody's trying to break into somebody's car, break into somebody's house, steal something. They'll steal something from you or from this person. Ideas, ace of swords, whatever it is. Whatever you do work-wise, just make sure that you have stuff backed up in general, like back up your files or something, back up your, back up, back yourself up, protect yourself or back this person up, step forward. I don't know, step forward and say something. All right, cool. All right, so Libra, take care and have a blessed week. I hope that that resonated with you. Please let me know how it does and be well. Bye.